Siegel Merlin. This is Godin's new uh, travel size dulcimer inspired instrument. It was recently introduced at the 2014 NAMM show in Anaheim. As you can see, we've got the spruce top model here. So it's got a solid spruce top. It's also available with a mahogany top. And then we've got a three piece maple body. Um, this is a diatonic instrument. And so um, it's very similar to the McNally strum stick. Although it, it does have a smaller scale with only seven frets, so. The frets are spaced out in such a way that it just, it's a diatonic scale. So it's very easy to play. Um, we've got the four strings, as you can see. Uh, four strings, but the, the two top strings are tuned in unison to D. And so it's tuned as D, A, D. So those three sets come back. We've got the holes here. Make our putting our, our strings in through there. Um, oh, it does have a button, so you're able to connect a guitar strap if you'd like to do that. Um, the build on this is actually quite nice. Uh, they've done a, a nice job putting this, this uh, instrument together. It's got a very simple, natural satin finish to it, um, at least on the spruce up. I haven't seen the mahogany uh, version, but I imagine it, it's, uh, it's the same. Um, the tuners themselves, very simple. Uh, very straightforward. Um, the, the instrument itself, it's very compact, it's about 31 inches in length, um, including the button, and then it's about seven inches wide. Um, the neck itself is quite small, um, so it's, it's ideal for small hands. Um, and this is, uh, this was by design. I think Go Godin is really positioning this as an introductory instrument um, for young musicians looking to get into stringed instruments in general. Um, and so it's very easy to handle because of its size and because of the, the neck. Um, and then because of the diatonic scale, it's very easy um, to just pick up and start learning um, music very quickly with. Um, having said that, it's also a great instrument um, just to kind of mess around with for seasoned musicians to be able to, to make some pretty interesting sounds. Now, I am not a, a dulcimer player. Um, I've only recently just picked this up, just kind of messing around with it, but um, just to give you kind of a, a flavor for some of the sounds, some the sounds you can get. So it's got a, a pretty nice tone to it. I'm not sure if you can tell um, on this computer microphone, but the tone's quite nice. It's got it's got a um, nice full sound to it. Um, in terms of pros, um, I think it's got, um, again, a great sound. Um, it's a really a lot of fun to just pick up and mess around with. Um, also, just a great instrument for, for um, students to, to start with so that they can start um, just making music right away. Um, lightweight, compact, easy to kind of just grab and go. Um, oh, and here's a kicker. In the U.S., <clears throat> we're talking $129 uh, is, the, is the street price. Um, so it's really priced. Uh, it's very affordable um, for an instrument like this. Um, as far as cons go, you know, with the shortened diatonic scale, you're going to be fairly limited as to the, what you can play with it. Um, but again, I think that's by design. Godin is really trying to create a very simple instrument um, that someone can just pick up and, and start playing with. Um, so that's sort of by design. Um, so there are the limitations there. Um, sort of a pet peeve of mine is the fact that I think that when you come up with an instrument that, that's um, uniquely shaped and well, with this, this sort of, of length, uh, would have really been nice if it came with um, its own gig bag. I know that's, that's kind of, you know, it's a small thing, but at the same time, you look at instruments like the Martin Backpacker, like the Traveler Guitar, um, they're kind of uniquely shaped instruments um, that are intended to be kind of... Um, instruments you, you kind of go uh, grab and go with, um, as is with this, I, I think it would have been really nice if it came with something like that. Um, this is a little awkward, you know, it's a little too long to fit in a ukulele or a mandolin bag. Um, it's a little too skinny to fit into a three quarter scale guitar bag. Um, I think though with, um, with a 31 inch length, um, you should be able to fit it nicely into a Martin backpacker bag if you've got a spare one laying around. Um, I have seen websites that say um, that a case is available separately, um, although I've yet to find out um, how to buy one. Um, so again, it's not a big deal. Um, I get it, you know, $129 price point, um, that's fine. 
but at the same time, it would have been nice to have something I can I can throw this in. Um, also, not a big deal that there, there's no documentation with it, um, which, again, that's not uncommon. It's really not that big a deal because the instrument, again, it's, it's very straightforward, very easy to, to learn, very easy to pick up. Um, they do have what they call the Merlin Handbook on the website, but um, it's very simple. Um, so um, that's about it. All in all, uh, it's a really fun instrument to play. Um, I encourage you, if you find yourself at your local guitar shop or a music center, um, grab one, pick it up, um, play around with it. You'll probably end up buying one. Um, but again, it's a lot of fun, um, even uh, given its, uh, its limitations. So that's it for now. This is the Seagull Merlin. And until next time, we're at Monkey Boy Music. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.